control immunity. So now they have good front line with card control immunity, and they have card control of their own. Oh. But two damage is what Onik wants. So that's it. That's it. That's Man. why, right? You were talking about this fighter heavy composition. Gord needs that. Gord needs Very good already early on. CW in this lane against the carry. We mentioned it in the draft. It's not the best lane for the Claude. It's already a dive attempt right now. Hazel's just hovering over. CW still waiting right there. He's oh. super low. Hazel just needs to tap one button. And the battle mirror image brings oh. Hazel back. He finds the kill back. Not bad at all, the trade. Jungle for goal lane early on. CW is notorious. Oh, wait a minute. Top side. One HP on Boots. One more shot. A boy finds it. Boots has fallen to two side lanes and Onik lose out of the Pressuring CW, Ooh. really just dominating. Is he gonna go? Is he gonna fall here? Bloiski's there. Oh, one more. Bloiski the white, he pops it in. He has a purify as well. Bloiski's not able to find Ooh. any more damage. Final slash from Keyboy. Good retaliation, good answer back at CW. Two times now he's been able to outplay a very, very bad, bad spot away. Kyrie walks up, gets a taunt done. Beloisky has the path around the wall that he placed down, and Keyboy takes him out. Don't quite see on a aggressive, uh, aggressive Rome Arlet, but he's going for a bit more movement speed because he knows it's oh. a lot of. Oh! Two man, I'm offended. Beloisky was able to steal away the orange buff. Boot fights the stun, fights the steal onto the turtle. Kyrie walks back a wild charge or to re engage in his team fight as Keyboy jumps in with the vengeance but gets caught in the decimate. And now it's the reset. Sans uh -oh. has been walled away for the team. One big smack away, and Luke with a slash of his scythe and a flicker out to safety with the don't run Wolf King. Kyrie not able to fully chase Boots. He's waiting on that cooldown. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, CW with a fully popped in blazing duet onto Chadera is still unable to finish this carry off. And Onyx like, you were saying? You were saying? You were saying? I mean, we were talking about Boots in that EXP uh -oh. lane, gonna be able to get that away, but here's CW. Three-man gank, the barrier, and the pin down with a mortal coil to give a boy a kill. Six to five now, Keyboy is trying to hold that. Definitely gonna try and spread apart and try and counter that kind of game plan, even though that means some members are not protected by the Nether Realm. I'm offended onto Keyboy. The main initiator right now is going to be changed CC by Boots and Kyrie follows through as well. Good Nether Realm. CW pops in a blazing duet to try to disintegrate it. A boy gets caught in the appraiser's wrath. And even in the back, Luke tries to sustain back up Hazel with an amazing retribution on the Martyrs. Might have just equalized this trade, and a boy is has a last, but look at Geek Bat. Conceal plays CW, battle her image in the blazing duet. A good final slash to cancel it out, but the wild charge still will be able to knock CW up. He pops the BMI back, but Luke is too deadly with his side. The beautiful Nether Realm actually saves Hazel right there in that position. Kyrie are trying to look for a bit more of a trade here onto Luke. Pokes him a bit, but Luke's a bit too sustainable. He has. Well, as I said, man, they have one single source of damage. We saw that Kyrie earlier was taking damage on three members, and he's able to somewhat sustain that. That's gonna be a. This is gonna become more and more of an issue later on. I'm offended on the keyboard. Three man, four man, final slash, but Hazel holds him back with the mortal coil and cuts him out of the team fa fight and off the land of Dawn with a decimate. And that's it, Hazel again with another member in his pocket. 3 2 3 KDA, a level above Kyrie right now. Does Onyx really want to contest this and go for that 50 50? Only one level. Kyrie's walking up, a good Mystic Gush gets a boy low. Boots, Rapist Fighter in the Flicker right now, bidding on the Nether Realm as he dives in deep. The Lord Ooh. actually knocks a member or a few members of Geek Fan. Boots gets a three man stun. Kyrie with a Brains of not able to connect right now, and he gets melted down before anyone can do anything about the Lord. Hazel's still on it. He's looking oh. for the retreat. He finds it. He gets knocked up. He's 1 HP. And so Sans finally is able to deal with this man, but still defensively. Ooh. And now shredded down by CW oh. Blazing Duet with the Battle Mirror image as well. Belowski forced to flick around with the conceal now. Keyboy still hovering over. Look at her players. Boot slashes a boy, but will be traded back by Hazel with a decimate. CW is able to siege down that. But Geek doesn't even care. He just rushed straight for the Lord. Can they force another fight right here, right now? As CW tries to rotate in, and he might not make it in time. Harry's 13. Yes. Walking up, Duke, very, very low. Oh! Kyrie with a retribution! That's what we've been expecting from the man, and he does it. He comes in on time, unlike the Avatar. For now, another minion wave will be spawning. Can Onik actually get more from this? The question is, do they want to? You can see Onik going to rotate to get that buff away from Hazel. 
Kyrie's actually gonna get it. So Hazel doesn't have his orange buck just yet. Ooh, another taunt in, and my goodness, Luke flickered out of the Nether Realm. Then a boy had placed out to save him, and he loses his life because he's off position to save Luke. Oh Whoa. my God, a disaster! Hey, Lord take here. Mm -hmm. Oh my Ooh. god, melted down, wild charge, battle mirror image, and even the Mystic Gush forcing Beloy to flicker out to safety. No wild charge, but also no Mystic Gush for Sans. Big damage out of the fray. Hazel, Mortal Coil, final slash. We can move back to the back. I'm offended. Oh, he is able to find Sans in the back and now forces him to flicker out. Chadera finds Keyboy. Kyrie's still able to find the retribution, but a boy shuts Sans down in the back. 3v5. Luke looking for the flag right now as Kyrie's still able to dash out, but that's going to be it. Brought back to the team, but only to get in the Brazier's Wrath onto the Fairness. Another I'm offended on the CW who's still going to be able to pop the Purify to back away again the with Lord. the BMI. The Lord is spawned and it is marching slowly into the mid lane. Hazel is trying to stop on it for oh. stopping the recalls. Luke, the run Wolf King, Brave and Spider to slash him out. Beloyski, a good barrier in place. Chidera has already walked all the way back, and the boy has recalled as well. Luke, somehow, some way, able to walk out and run away from those three members. And Geek Fam come out, still able to defend. That was too close. For my comfort, I understand what Geek Fam were trying to do. They were trying to get Awning off the board, wow. clear the Lord, and then maybe go for a straight push. But Onik was able to extend the amount of time, and actually, that was nearly chaos and disaster for Geek Fam. Plays in the wet, another round coming down, though. Boots very, very low. Luke still able to sustain quite a bit right now. Shadera is actually going to be free hitting. Appraiser's Wrath on the three. Kyrie still surviving, Ooh. but it's a flicker forward into the Mystic Gush of Sands. Double kill picked up for the man as Bloiski now loses his immortality, pops in to conceal. Hazel and Janeiro still micromanaging the waves. Now another wave coming down. CW's free hitting in the back. Bloiski is trying his best to stop this from happening, but CW stays targeted. And this is your winning moment presented to you by Samsung Galaxy S24 Series 5G. Onik with game one comeback. The victors of our first game in this best of three series. With Geek Fam being able to control that early to mid tempo, on it coming back, I, I I seriously thought that this was Geek Fam's game to win. That was crazy. I'm very happy to see it on the competitive stage, but Onik will come back and answer that with a Yuzong last pick. Wow, a lot of dive, good laner against the Arlet, but it's gonna be the Ruby in the XP. Yo, Rashi, why mm -hmm. haven't we seen Nana? At all. Like, this is the first Nana pick slash ban of season 13. Boy on the Nana goes for the flicker. So, despite all the CC coming in from Onyx, he's still confident enough Ooh. to go in for that spell, but Hazel is confident in this. Oh, nom nom nom. Detonus, welcome, Hazel. First blood picked up by Samsung Galaxy. Getting their eyes on the next neutral objective. Turtle, half health. Black Dragon form into the back, no petrified for Boots. He is doing a good job at zoning, and my goodness, Sans oh. is the lead for Loisky, but Kyrie is very, very low, has to reset the turtle. It's a nom nom up with the death of his welcome, uh -oh. but Keyboy gets spat out now with the power of nature. He wants to go for a big smack on the Hazel, a wall as well. And the tree wins out against the dinosaur. Sustain, so trying to get some movement speed and a mix of sustain at the same time. Walled, oh my god, not just walled. De but Loisky got deleted. That's a whole lot of burst, man. Oh my god. god. Flying coming from Beloisky here puts Onik in a weird spot. Look at the burst down, though. Boy's really super low, and Boots is flying on the way to him under the turret as well. Oh. Has the passive, gets up, but Kyrie wins out in the retreat battle. Beloisky, what? 1v4 in the mid lane, no follow up. There is oh. a wild charge. Oh no. The Nana gets deleted under the turret, and now it might be even more bleak as Luke is forced to flicker out. Another burst. Damage coming down from CW, but he's still able to sustain out with the Brave Smite. Maneuvery? Is that a word? Maneuvery? Okay, Maneuver? successful. Let's go with that. Maneuver. As he was on the Mardis in the first game. But look at this. Kyrie looking to punish Kowalski. Oh no, he's already died three times. The final oh. slash, and he just gets bopped by Sans. Fourth death. 4k behind. And obviously, Hazel is behind on levels as well against Kyrie. Oh. I guess that's something great, but. A fail attempt of an initiation. Beloisky with a flicker. Final slash earlier. Not connecting CW now. Just chunking damage. Beloy very low. Luke doing the same thing right now. Trying to run away. But Boots catches him. Finds the passive. Detona's welcome into the mouth. But now it's Hazel. It's called the wild oh. charge. With a flicker to the back. Ooh. Finds a boy. 
flickers back to safety, and now it's Chadera who's forced to run away. Sans wants to get that Terrify down. He finds the Terrify. No Eternal Guard, just a bit more poke in Chadera. Stomp, and it feels like maybe they're tilted oh. again. Luke, I think, has missed more I'm offenders that. than he has hit this game so far. Valoi, the one big brain play could save them. It did get Sans, and oh my god, a boy with a flicker forward. 0-5-0. Zero, zero. Valoi. Is he waiting for that buff? We'll have to see, man. 0-10 power spike. But, but a boy, man. That's a lot of damage on the Nana. That's why it, it's somewhat valid. And Sans just wasn't ready right there. Now without the Vexana, will Onyx still try and make something happen? It, it is possible. It's just a lot risky. But they back away. Yeah, that's going to be the Lord cleared uh, out. Of a huge counter engage or half an HP bar, for instance. This is so risky. Here we go. Well, charge Luke. Going to be knocked up and terrified down. Sans bursts him out. And even Beloyski follows through with six death in his game right now as Boots is just zoning a boy in Chadera, isolating the dinosaur. No, they're already extinct. And still they want to take him out. A killing spree for Kyrie. 3 0 in the trade. Spawning, so Onik. They crafted and put Boots in a position to flank. We'll see if that pays off right here. This is what they want though. Keep them out of the base and now they're going for it to conceal. Oh, key boy. Dragon form and oh! That's a three man! Final slash, not able to be followed up completely though. CW gets stunned in the back, but it's not going to be enough right now. As Bloisky jumps up with the vengeance right now. The transform, oh, CW's low with the nature, pop in oh, just in time. The might. eternal guard to peel up Bloisky, falling oh. boots with a two man on that furious dive, knocks him up. Now brought back by the missiles, Chadera holding it down, terrified and poked in that choke point. Luke is able to get the vision down, and apparently the Lord has been reset. CW's back on it though with Kyrie. 1 4 0, but Onik had lower HP bars. They have to send some of their members back again, and now it's a reset for that Lord. Kyrie's half health here. Looks like he's getting that healing back up. 13 seconds left for Beloisky to spawn. And look at this, they're trying to blitz the Lord. Black Dragon form now with a wild charge on the two members and an Eternal Guard to knock them up even longer. Two retributions, but it's Kyrie who times it better. And in the Lord Pit, Ooh. it is Hazel who falls in the back. It is a boy. Chadera is forced back, dashes out to safety. Beloy pops in that conceal, and they are alone. Two members now having to face five members from Onik and a Lord. Against all odds, against the entire world here, Boloyski and Chidera, the final ones. It looks like CW's gonna be able to break what? that inhibitor turn in the bottom side, but what? A final slash, a desperate one at that, Chidera. and Chidera pops in with nature. He's able to get CW low enough, they oh, no. but now he gets knocked up, wall down, and that should be it. Geek fam, clean, swept by Onik in their rematch. Wow, in the grand finals, it was a 4-2, to two, MPLI 2022, 3-2 reverse sweep in both instances, it was...